We had arrived at the wildlife mecca, the Masai Mara at last. Here on these mythical fields, the unadulterated and sublime forms of nature will reveal themselves to us. The Masai Mara is a unique and vital ecosystem, capturing the awe-inspiring wildlife and the deep connection between nature and the Masai people. It reflects on the beauty, danger and majesty of life in the savanna, making it feel like a pilgrimage to the heart of the wild. What an incredible welcome, being greeted by a young African elephant in the vast savanna of the Maasai Mara. The Mara's wild beauty paid with such close encounters with nature's gentle giants is truly something special. Though the light was fast fading, we just didn't want to miss such opportunities. The northern giraffe are majestic species and quite distinct from others like the Rothschild giraffe. They are known for their striking patterns and impressive stature. We had to leave here as we had to check into our resort and begin our adventures early the next day. Before long, the towering giraffes blocking our path quietly dispersed as swiftly as they had appeared. our matchbox yeah. so we don't go to the shop to buy matchbox we have our natural matchbox so we wrap two stick together like this so we put the we put the cow cow hide on the top and then we wrap two stick together the friction between a cordia and a cedia the hashes drop to the cow skin and then we get the, the humble of the fire and then we transfer to the dry grass and then we blow it then we get fire. So take video to remember the visit of the, the yeah. visit. The Maasai are well known for their traditional fire making skills, a practice passed on through generations. They use a simple yet effective method called fire by friction. Typically they start by using a hardwood stick, often from a tree like a fig tree and a softwood fire boat.
A sighting of this incredible cheetah was perhaps the most memorable of our African trip so far. Dramatic moments followed that made our day. An intense standoff, warthogs facing off with a cheetah. The tension in the air was unmistakable as both sides gauged each other. Survival in the wild is never guaranteed and in this moment anything could happen. The adult male warthog took up the challenge to the cheetah. Despite their looks, warthogs are capable of great strength due to their fierce defense and keen tusks, particularly while protecting their young. Despite being bred for speed, a lone cheetah may be reluctant to confront a pack of warthogs unless it has no other option. But nature in its wisdom often chooses balance. Warthogs don't trust cheetahs in this part of the world and intersects the cheetah's path once more giving a final warning. The warthog will retreat for now but will come back fully charged up to get the cheetah out of this terrain. Our cheetah, outnumbered by the warthogs, had no choice but to retreat from this lush green patch of the planet. Watch your head, watch your head. So this is a calabash. It's a type of vegetable. This is we use for store the uh, water or uh, milk or a blood. Because Masai people, we love their diet. Milk, blood and roasted meat or a boiled meat. So we use, uh, we mix blood and uh, milk. We drink. But we don't kill a cow to get a blood. We have a special way. We tie the leg of the cow. When the jungle fain come clear, we have a, a, a bow and an arrow. And we have a special man that usually shoots the cow in the meat. So they shoot it, and then we using to collect the calabash. So everyone in the village drink the blood. This is that is our breakfast. The Maasai people are known for their traditional practice of drinking cow's blood, which is deeply rooted in their culture and history. 
cows are central to Maasai life and their blood is considered a source of strength and nourishment. After being outnumbered and driven away by a group of determined warthogs, this lone cheetah showed its resilience and grace by approaching our vehicle. We were in wonder as we observed up close the splendor and grace of this amazing creature, a potent reminder of the untainted beauty and unpredictable character of the natural world. It was clear from the scene unfolding before us that our cheetah was now resolute in its decision to cross the Mara River. The question was which point it would select to cross the river while navigating the strong currents. It was a desperate situation, yet the cheetah was taking a calculated risk, choosing a spot where it could cross the river safely. I will never forget this moment in my life. After patiently waiting and taking our chances, we witnessed the most incredible sight, a resilient cheetah crossing the Mara River. Our adventure continues as we explore more of the Mara, eager to find a pride of lions. Every moment spent in this stunning environment is a reminder of the beauty of nature.
At last the sight of a vigilant herd of topies signaled that predators were close, lifting our hopes for an imminent encounter. All hopes were pinned on catching a glimpse of the perfect lion, the true king of the savanna, surrounded by its pride. The dream was to spot one with a majestic darker mane, a symbol of strength, maturity and dominance. The Maasai Mara in Kenya and the Serengeti in Tanzania are part of a shared ecosystem that spans the international border. Despite being in different countries, Animals move freely between the two parks. The boundary is unfenced, preserving natural wildlife movement. Lions are known for their long periods of sleep, spending about 16 to 20 hours a day resting or sleeping. Lions use intense bursts of energy when hunting, so they need long periods of rest to recover. They hunt during cooler times and rest during the heat of the day to avoid overheating. With a slow metabolism, lions don't need to eat frequently and can rest longer after a big meal. So we fence our fence because we have predators like lions. They come during at night, they come and attack our cattle. So we make we make sure that our fence is very strong. So the work of the ladies in the community to build houses, the work of the men to make the fence to be strong. We were still on the lookout for the one with the darker mane. Every scan of the horizon was filled with anticipation, the desire to witness this apex predator with the darker mane in all its glory, surrounded by its loyal pride.
were watching an incredible pride right before our eyes, vibrant and full of energy. And it felt like the king of the savanna was about to make his grand appearance. King of the Savannah emerged before us like a phantom, standing tall and gazing directly at us. It was a truly magical moment. The earth seemed to tremble with each deliberate step he took, slowly approaching us. The pride reassured by his presence moved about with a sense of security. Their mood lifted as they playfully shuffled in joy. Mm -hmm. 